and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. We got Jund Revival. We're bringing it back. We're reviving the Revival deck. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, so we played this three days ago and it was a ton of fun. We had a lot of success with it. Um, all right, King J, thanks thanks for that uh, donation there. I'll check out. I'll check that out, uh, and I'll give you some some pointers on your deck there uh, after this video. I'll do that. Thanks, King J. Um, so basically, what we have going on here is we have a deck where we are ramping in to Ilharg and take trying to take full advantage of Ilharg the Raise Boar. That's what we're trying to do. Um, you know, ramp in, in there with our eight mana creatures and our s six, well, I guess eight, that's a mana planeswalker too, our eight mana planeswalkers as well, all adding our mana, get Ilharg in, and then Ilharg does some crazy things. Uh, we do have a, a small uh, Bonder Revival sub-theme in here, that's why the deck's called a Revival after this card, that can return creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield and give them haste. So we have Remati Revelers and Tormenting Voices that can discard cards. But mostly this is going to... So that will happen sometimes. But mostly this is going to be for, like, after our opponents use their removal, start killing our big creatures, then we bond a revival, get them back. That's the main game plan there. We got to... Last time, we got to use Tetsamok with Ilharg, and it was glorious. Uh, we got to uh, just put four prey counters on four creatures have Ilharg put the Tetsamok into play so that all four of those creatures died and we swung for lethal that turn. That's the kind of stuff that we're going to try to do again. So playing the same deck list, the same 75 we played three days ago, because as I said at the end of that video, I liked how the deck played and there wasn't really anything I'd wanted to change to it. And so we're running it back and let's, let's give it another try. Now that video was one of my most popular videos that I've had ever and so let's let's try the deck again let's run it back yeah so no there's no no rex age effect in the 75 not even worrying worrying about frenzy we're just just gonna try to smush that's what our deck's doing we're smushing burning sun's avatar can be okay but i don't think it's better than any of the other cards that we already have at the top end. You know, we have a limited amount of room. Hey, what's up, Valoraxial? Thanks for getting that sub in there. Sun in the sky, brine on my skin. Great day to fight. So if this is like a Nexus deck, I'll want to like minus and Yeah, we'll go ahead and minus. The and get the damage in. Surges. Life thrives. There's a chance it is. If it's like a just a bunch of mana creatures and and Nissas and stuff, then I don't really want to do that if they're gonna be like attacking. You say be careful. I'm alright, Nada. Let's get moving. If I if I put the counter on it, then we're gonna be able to attack for more with the Ronus. Ooh, do I just demanding dragon first? Uh, things are about to get yeah. real rowdy. Alright, so sack a creature or take ten. Or take five, sorry. Sack a creature or take five. They're taking the five. Nature flows with vigor. Okay. Well. I don't really see them surviving here.
And there's the scoop. This deck is sweet. So what's our opponent really got going on over there? We saw Growth Spiral and Paradise Druid. That's all we saw. If they're playing like tons and tons of mana creatures and Nissas, I want all these Massacre Girls. But Growth Spiral... Hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean a bunch of mana creatures. So yeah, this is probably some kind of mass manipulation deck. Basically a deck that I don't feel like is going to be killing my own creatures. Let's cut two Bond Revivals for two Masker Girls. Let's cut the Palaka Worm for the other Masker Girl. And let's go. Hey Slash, I have not played a Gideon, the Gideon Sacrifice event yet, no. Um, but I know there's, there's definitely people in chat that have been playing it and having good success. So can somebody help, uh, Crescendo slash out with a, a deck list for that? Yeah, I guess Carney T would be good against mass manipulation. That's, that's, that's true. All right, I don't want them to... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to say no attacks. I don't think I want an Entrancing Melody on my Paradise Druid here. Maybe I do. Entrancing Melody on Paradise Druid means they wouldn't have, like, Frilled Mystic. Because this could be, like, Frilled Mystic counter something. All right, that's fine. Ilharg. Ilharg. I guess I should just be attacking with everything. Boom. Bill Harg. Man, this deck is sweet. Yeah, such a fast game. Just ending the game so quickly. No messing around here. Yeah, I am wearing slacks right now. Sometimes I wear jeans. Yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing slacks right now. Hmm. Oh, wait, I don't have red mana. I was like, okay, Kiora plays the Ilharg. Yeah, we got draw steps for a reason. We got Kiora, though. Kiora's awesome. Yeah. Kiora is awesome. All right, no, no double red card that we're gonna have on turn three, so we don't need. We 
we don't need to like Let's dive right into battle. Uh, do anything but just just play our two tap lands in. Don't have to like play the rootbound crag. Ow. Something smells fishy here. I love to make a splash. Ilharg. Ilharg looks pretty good when it has ETB draw card attached to it. All right, well, Kiora will be able to draw one more card for us. It's either Woodland Cemetery or Remati Reveler. Maybe I should have done Reveler. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You need to slow down. So it looks like I should have played. Looks like I should have played Domri instead of Kiora. No, yeah, never mind, never mind. It wouldn't have worked. Never mind. Okay. Keep up the pace. Looks like we're going to end up being a little too slow here. Do I have Masker Girls in this matchup? We know we're not going to get another mana next turn. Let's kick this madness into high gear. I bow to no one. No, actually, Z, I don't want to actually. Ah, uh, okay. Probably should have, should have just actually fought here. I should have just fought with Domri and killed a 1-1. You know, it doesn't matter if they have a removal spell. I guess I should have just killed Hero. Yeah, I should have just killed Hero. Yeah, I should have just played Reveler. 
ditch the block worm kill hero Time is much more malleable than people think and then I'm not taking lethal then I'm taking six yeah that was the that was the line okay that was the line And then next turn, you know, I was going to bond a revival back to Plaka Worm to gain life. And kill the Teferi with that. Almost. Almost. Alright, so I don't want Galta in this kind of matchup, like where they are using a whole lot of removal and everything. Definitely want the Carnage Tyrants here. Uh... Palaka would have been really good there, but... Oh, I don't want Ronas either. So, yeah, so Carnage Tyrant comes in for both of those. I don't want Tetsamok. Um, we're going to take these Elder Spells. Don't want Tormenting Voice. Yeah, I don't think I want Tormenting Voice. And they could have, like, a Narset out. So, it's, the real question is the Masker Girls. I guess I should play, like, two Masker Girls. Yeah, let's do that. So what are we taking out? I want to keep in... I'm going to take out one of these small Domries. And I'm going to take out... A Demanding Dragon, I guess. A Ravager Worm. Ravager Worm or Demanding Dragon? Dragon. Okay. So we'll just ditch the stomping ground with the reveler. Which does mean we need to draw more lands. Okay, that works. Ha, you call it anarchy. For me, it's just another day. No, the Carnage Tyrant. No. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. The Carnage Tyrant. So we need to find a, a revival. Have the revival bring the Carnage Tyrant back. Let's go, Piggy. The spark is cheating. Two mana, exile my big spell. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> it's pretty good. Bring the pig that brings the apocalypse. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. So if I keep the land in hand, it could get discarded from Bell Hunt. 
Like I could keep it in hand and like maybe have them like thought erasure me or something like that. But if they if they just play a bell hunt, they'll just get discarded and then I'll feel bad and maybe I don't get to actually cast like a Carnage Tyrant or something like that later. Do I ugh, put them down to two? It's basically just better to kill the Teferi. Because if they have the card in hand to stabilize, the Teferi is how they're going to win the game by just drawing so many cards. Which they did have the card in hand to stabilize. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. So very glad I attacked a fairy. Another to fairy. I am not good. We need to move quickly. This is why I cut one of these Domries. Because as you can see here, it, it doesn't, you know, generate any cards or anything, just like the mana, so. So I cut, cut one of those Domries. This would have been a lot better as a Kiora this no whole time. time. We would have drawn a whole lot of cards if it was a Kiora. And even though we wouldn't have got rid of the hero right away with the fight, we would have been able to just get rid of... The hero with the Masker Girl, anyway. Yeah, I have two of the other Domries. No, I think this matchup's fine. I don't, I don't necessarily think this is a bad matchup for us. Our opponents had just an awesome hand. Like their, their hand's been really, really nice, and we, Let's we haven't had our best cards. Part. They've had two Teferis. Our best cards are, you know, like with the Kiora and the Kiora and the other Domri. Like those are our cards that we really want. Haven't had those. Like for the card advantage. But their hand was just awesome. I can no longer stand by and watch. Here goes nothing. can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not done yet. If you wish to surrender, own your prowess. All right, one and one. I wouldn't mind playing against Esper all the time. I think that I'm going to be winning more than I'll be losing against Esper with this deck. Those games just didn't go our way. bad. I guess we lead with Paradise Druid. Gives us a little bit more information before we Reveler. One Reveler is definitely going to ditch another one. First one, I guess. Ooh. Man, if they have Thought Erasure, though.
Good thing that wasn't Clarion. That's Clarion. My mind needs a rest. Alright, good job, Reveler. You got us to the land. That we needed. So we're gonna attack them for 16 here. Oh, I should have just attacked them, shouldn't I? Because they're definitely just gonna play the Clarion. So I should just attack them for the four. So Bonder Revival could do another two damage. Yeah, if I would have just attacked them for four, let them have Narset. But they still have to have to somehow deal with this Ilharg, plus then they have to like counter the demanding dragon. I gotta, like, there just wasn't even cards that they could possibly deal with. Because the demanding dragon, once it enters, is going to do five anyway. Because they don't have a creature. Alright. Playing against Jeskai Control. Elder Spell, Carnage Tyrant. That's it there. Domri out. Tetsamok. Palaka Worm. And the last one. Do I want to take out Ronus or another Domri? No, I want to keep big stuff in. We're going to keep Ronus in. I think I'm trimming another Domri. Yeah, we could just do Tormenting Voice because yeah, Narset and they could have Counter Magic too that like really blows it up so yeah we'll just we'll just get rid of that forming voice i don't yeah i don't love playing it against narset but narset does kind of shut us down a little bit with the remodi revelers and kioras also oh man yeah tetsamok hitting planeswalkers that would be awesome I'd be all for that. Sahili? This should be fun. I guess maybe I should be playing a Masker Girl. I'll just play big creatures. I'll show you dry walkers something truly spectacular. One drop ripples and grows. You hard. All right. Well, we can have Domri fight. Have we can have the pig fight the angel, and obviously the pig's bigger than the angel. So we could do that. Yeah, their curve wasn't bad. And turn four. Turn four Lyra, not bad. I had turn four Ilharg to compete, but now this is really bad. Hide from the wolf. Not so fast. Wow. No respect for Kiora here. Just none. The ocean surges, life thrives. Hold that thought. <laughs> Swing, drop Galta, and then have Galta fight. Or Teferi. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fairy. Wah, wah.
So not going to be able... Not gonna be able to do anything better than that for that turn. Hmm. Anything different we want to do? Tetsumaka, of course, can answer Lyra pretty pretty well. The Masker Girl is good against all those crappy 1-1s. One -ones. I don't think I really need to bother with all those crappy 1-1s, one though. I'm going to play Tetsumaka instead of Ronis. And run it back. Tetsuma can kill a bunch of 1-1s one also. If we need to. But I can't imagine they're playing that many Sahilis. And mana has not been on our side here. What am I drawing one of our elder spells? That wouldn't be a bad one to have access to. Contacts. Let's see Deafening Clarion here. I'm not going to play the other Paradise Druid. Yeah, so we can go reveal Tetsamok, pray counter on war boss. Let's get moving. Cast Tetsamok. Kill War Boss. Draw a card. It's just Vigor Chupacabra. Chupacabra that draws a card. Stupid prison realms. All right, we need to keep drawing big things. Now I'm That's not salty. a big thing. So I attack with two creatures. 
Unfortunately, a mana short for the Ilharg. Gonna go for a swim and cool off. No sword can pierce my <laughs> Mind if I take my octopus for a walk? Nature flows with vigor. So we're taking like thirteen in the air here. have Massacre Girl in the deck right now. I I guess I just went with the Tetsamok way too early, I suppose. I guess I needed to wait a couple of turns for the Lyra. Like Tetsamok is like the card that we need to draw, but it's exiled by that prison realm. So I don't I don't think we have an out. So we could could cast Galta and draw, or I just attack with it. Like I think my only removal is Domri, but that only kills one thing. Don't have the life gain. Sarkin has a passive ability. The land where elves and paradise druids and everything die. I don't think I had Ronus in my deck either. I, I just didn't have any outs there. Just drew too many lands and mana creatures, not enough big creatures. Well I saw the you know like the two big creatures the whole time until you know until like the end. Or like you know, basically we had the Tetsamok for like the longest time as like our only big creature. Yeah, we couldn't attack with any of the elves because the Sarkin passive. Yeah. Um, but no, Ly Lyra just got us, you know, and, um, definitely happens. If only we had, uh, like, some other big creature to play instead of just the Tetsamok, you know, like, we were mull we mulliganed a lot in those games, and, you know, if, if I could have just played something else with our seven mana instead of Tetsamok and been able to hold Tetsamok because I could have played other things... That would have been really nice, and then we would have had the Tetsamok for the Lyra later on. Um, but. but wasn't meant to be. Didn't uh, didn't get there. All right. Well, unfortunately, we only got to play the three matches there. Our Jund Revival deck went one and two. There kind of feels like it deserved better fate, but oh well, just like Clint Eastwood's character Will Money in the movie Unforgiven said, deserves got nothing to do with it. And so we fell and we went one and two. So that's Jund Revival and. Uh, 
we'll probably play this deck one more time to try to do a little end it on a better note before the the new format comes in about a week um but if you're uh so if you're watching this video later on on youtube hope you enjoyed it and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there but that's it here for Jundra Revival for the second time. We'll be back with it again. But for now, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for another video.